All right, so this is the last video going over mod seven and its input modes. This is gonna be really difficult to understand without an oscilloscope. So maybe follow along with one or just repeat the tasks that I perform in this video with an oscilloscope that you can see. Um, okay, I went ahead and set everything up ahead of time and it's pretty simple. Oscillators one and two are going into oscillator three, which is set as the um, input mode off. If we look, it says off. And then oscillators five and six are going to four, and four is set in ring modulator mode, not sine plus ring, but just ring modulator mode. Right now, I have uh, oscillator three playing, I believe. Uh, it actually doesn't show the status on this, my bad. But I can go to the oscillator itself. Uh, oscillator three is on, but oscillator four is off. Again, look at the patch panel, oscillator three, the off um, oscillator mode and is on it's really confusing and then oscillator four is off so it's not playing it's not going to the out output oscillator four no output oscillator three output oops okay so the reason i set it up like this is because in when oscillator mode is off it still has some interesting ring modulation effects and it's very similar to the ring modulation setup with a few key differences um, in ring modulation, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch the oscillator. So we'll just listen to oscillator four, which is our ring mod only oscillator. Uh, in this mode, we it doesn't matter what we set the uh, the inputs to. And actually, let me go back to oscillator mode and take ring modulation off. When it's just dry, we're only hearing output two. So I can play that. And actually, I'll just hit a uh, little bit lower. This is like an F3. Um, if I if I change the input levels, it doesn't do anything. Um, but if I were to change the output of uh, six, which is again going into uh, um, input two, which is the only input that we can hear when it's not on ring modulator mode, I, I said this is going to be like super confusing. Um, so oscillator six, if we turn that the output down, then it does turn down. That's because we're doing it on the oscillator output and not the inputs, uh, which wouldn't even matter if we changed the uh, the input level, because it's just it's just as if it's cause it's just going straight to the uh, to the ring modulator. And again, this diagram is wrong in the in the editor, but it's right on the face of your Kronos. Um, yeah. So if we, uh, I'm kind of recapping the the ring modulator. Uh, because it to show you what it, what it sounds like with um, let's put that on dry with oscillator mode on off it's the opposite I believe we only hear uh, input one and I should have explained earlier that uh, input one in both instances is lower so I have oscillator one going into um, I have oscillator one going into the input of oscillator three. And then I have oscillator two going into the uh, to the second input of oscillator three. Again, the patch panel might make it easier to see. So one is going into input one of three. Two is going to input two of three. Um, but with oscillator mode off, we only hear input one. I don't. Oh no no, we hear both inputs. My bad. See, I get kind of uh, forgetful. There's so many small small details about this. Uh, so yeah, we're here. We'll we'll hear a mix of both. So when I play a note, see we we have uh, we hear one higher one and one lower one uh, lower sine waves. They're both sine waves, higher sine wave and lower sine wave. And uh, one is just um, let's see, that would be uh, the second harmonic is an octave, and then a fifth, and then another octave. So. This is two octaves higher, I believe, than, than oscillator one. So we have the ratio on one for oscillator one, and oscillator two is, is two octaves higher, is because this is just harmonic series. Um, yeah. So we can we we do have control over the inputs for the input levels of one and two. Or sorry, for oscillator three. So this would be the input from oscillator one. 
So we're just hearing that higher oscillator 2. And this would be the input from oscillator 2. So we, if I turn this down, we'll just be hearing the lower oscillator 1. Nice. So now things get even more tricky. Uh, if we put ring mod, if we crossfade to ring mod mode, uh, we'll hear the regular ring mod sound, but we'll also hear, uh, again, this is where an oscilloscope would really come in handy, we'll also hear um, um, the, the dry sound as well. So it's almost like an AM mode. If we're doing uh, ring modulation on 50-50, we would be hearing, um, the, I believe, the carrier and the modulator in the output, um, as opposed to just the ring modulated uh, some and difference, differences that we hear from the ring modulation. Uh, so yeah, let's just hear what that, that sounds like. Yeah, and again, without an oscilloscope, it's going to be really hard to see that we're actually mixing these, these sine waves in with the ring modulator mode, but we're also uh, having input one ring modulate itself. And that is the setup that is usually uh, done with pretty much any other uh, diagram. Yep, with every other diagram, uh, except for uh, ring mod mode, which again, it's it's uh, it's the wrong diagram on here. But if you look under Kronos, you you'll see that input one goes straight to the ring mod, and input two goes straight to the ring mod instead of this setup that you see here. Um, and in fact, this setup is very much what it looks like if uh, if you just have it off. So even though this diagram doesn't show any connections, what's really going on is input one is being summed with input two. It's going to ring modulator, and then input one is also acting as the modulator to the ring modulator. And if I were to turn off input level two, then we would hear input level one an octave higher because that's what happens when you have something ring modulate itself. I mean, Explaining the physics of that is kind of difficult, but yeah, basically, if you have if you have um, something you know increasing its own volume, it's going to be incre You can think of like the velocity of the waveform going twice as fast and going then you know um, the how do I explain this? <laughs> so here's dry, and here's wet. And no matter which note I play, it would be exactly an octopi. Um yeah, so again, I, getting into the, the nitty-gritty details of the physics of sound is just, it's out of the depth of this tutorial. Um, yeah, so again, ring mod mode is, is actually ring modulating the input 1 and 2, and also input 1 with itself, and you're hearing them all as if it's AM mode. And that's the best explanation that I can give. This is going to take a lot of tinkering on your own so you can really see the details again looking through um, a spectrum analyzer. Yeah, if I said oscill oscilloscope earlier, that wouldn't be much help. You, you're obviously going to want to be able to look at the individual sine waves through uh, your spectrum analyzer. So good luck on figuring out the uh, the routing of, of oscillator mode off. And thank you for watching this little series of Mod 7. Take care.